One of the effects of the pandemic is that people utilize the online world more. We work remotely now, the school classes are online, and even the applications for credit cards, banking transactions, and such, are now mostly done online. One area though that is not really that convenient doing online, is the document signing. What usually happens is, one party sends the document to you through email on a PDF format. Since PDF files are read only, and you need to fill up and sign the document, you will need to print it out, so you can write and sign on the hard copy of the document. You cannot send back the hard copy though, so you need to convert that signed document back to its digital copy. You will need to scan it, and save it as a PDF file, before you can send it back. Not only that this process takes up so much time, it also incurs costs to your printer cartridges, and electricity as well. But what if I tell you, that you can eliminate all of that process, and you can easily fill up, and sign a PDF document within just a few minutes without the need of printing any hard copy documents? Are you interested to know how? Well, watch till the end of the video. Alright. First things first, we will need a proper tool to fill and sign a PDF file. There are many free tools that you can use for this, but the best one for me is the king of PDF itself, Adobe Acrobat. Just search for Acrobat DC. There is an Acrobat DC Pro, which costs money, so we are not downloading that. Just go for the regular, and free, Acrobat Reader DC. From this site you will be able to download the Acrobat Reader DC installer by clicking this button. You also have an option here to use the Pro version on a trial. But no need for a Pro version since the free one already has everything that we need to edit a PDF file. Just click this button to download the installer file. Then you know the drill. Once downloaded, just install the application. Once installed, you should be able to search for the Adobe Acrobat DC application. Let's open it so you can see what it looks like. There you go. We will be coming back to this application later. For my demo, I have created a form here using PowerPoint. Let me correct a typo here first. This is a made-up form that I created in PowerPoint, which I will be saving as a PDF file. And this made-up form will be the PDF file which we will be filling up and signing at later. As an extra knowledge for you, if you didn't know yet, you can save MS Office documents as a PDF file. Just select PDF from the Save as type and your MS Office document will automatically be converted to a PDF file, just like this made-up loyalty form I created. OK. The PDF file was automatically opened in the Acrobat DC after I saved it. As we all know, PDF of portable document format files are read-only files. You can highlight and mostly copy text from the document, but you cannot edit, update or change anything from it. Even if you have a blinking cursor here, you cannot type in anything in the document. Using this free Adobe Acrobat Reader DC application though, you can at least fill up the blank spaces, answer the checkboxes, encircle parts of the document, and even put in your signature. To start doing that, go to the Sign menu, and under that, select Fill and Sign. This will open a new toolbar which you can use to fill up the document. You can use the toolbar to add a text, add an X mark, add a check mark, draw a rounded rectangle shape, a line, or a dot, and even add a signature. Let's start with the text. When you select this tool, every time you hover to a blank line, it will automatically detect that area as something that you need to fill up and highlight it. Clicking on that blue area will enable the text editor where you can type in any data to fill up that blank space. While typing, you will have a floating toolbar here, which will let you adjust the size of the font. You can also set the text as a fixed length text which is handy when filling out government forms which usually has a fixed length data entry. You can also delete your entry by clicking on this trash can icon. Let's fill this up with a real date. Let's say August 8, 2022. Let's also put in a name here. Let's also fill up the date here. Let's say it's the 8th, then August, then 2022. Nope, just 22 here. Let's make it a bit bigger. Now another text entry for the full name. OK. We now have a checkbox field here. For this one, you can use the symbols above. Let's try the X for this one. There you go. Let's delete that and try the check mark this time. There it is. It automatically fills the whole checkbox. Let's now try a dash. And it is smart enough to know that you should use a check mark here and not a dash. But you can force it to be a line by clicking on the ellipsis here. There you can select any other symbol, like the line or dash for example, or any other symbol that you want to put inside this check box. Let's stick with the X mark for now. Below, we will use a text entry again for the address. Now for the signature, this is a different entry since you cannot use text nor a symbol for this. For the signature, you will need to use the sign yourself function here, where you can add a signature or your initials. These two has the same functionalities though. 
clicking on the add option this will open a dialog box to let you add signature in three different options first one is to type in your signature using different kinds of cursive fonts which is not advisable since it will not look anything like your signature and it is really easy to replicate second option is to draw your signature I personally advise not to use this as well since using your computer mouse to sign will never look natural, and worse, it might be construed as forgery. My advice is to use the third option which is image, where you will just upload an image of your signature. Now, as another additional side knowledge for you, here's how I create a natural looking signature. First thing to do is to sign your signature on a white plain paper using a clear thick pen. Then take a picture of that signature and save the picture to your PC. From your PC, the signature picture will naturally capture the shades on the paper, which does not look good if you add that to the PDF. So what I do is open the picture to paint. Then I crop the picture to have only the space for the signature itself. Then save the picture as a monochrome BMP format to make it a black and white picture without any grayscale. And there you go. The signature is now clear. You cannot use this BMP file though for the PDF, since it is a monochrome picture, the PDF file will only see a block of black picture just like this. To make the picture readable by the PDF file, we need to convert that back to a normal 24-bit PNG of JPEG file. And we can do that easily. Just open the monochrome BMP file again on paint. Copy this whole picture. Then open another instance of paint. And paste a copied picture here. Now save this one as a normal PNG or JPEG. I'll save it as a PNG for now. Let's now use the PNG file from our PDF. Go to sign yourself then add signature. Then let's select the PNG file we've just created. There you go. There's also no need to make the signature transparent since Acrobat DC will automatically make the white background transparent. We can now place this in the proper field and resize it to the proper space and make it look natural. You only need to do this one time since the signature picture will always be available in the sign yourself area whenever you need it, unless you manually delete it there. Now we're ready to fill up the rest of the form. Another set of optional checkboxes here. Oops. The section says check all that applies, so we should be using a check mark here and not an X mark. I actually like everything here, maybe except the wearables. The last part is about encircling the puppies. So we will use the rounded rectangle for this. That's not really encircling isn't it? But that will do. We have three puppies here that I need to mark to prove that I am a human and not a robot. Okay. That's it. When you're done with fill and sign, just click the close button here on the right top side. No need to click the next button which will only offer online functions that costs money. Just click close. And you are done. Well, almost, since this is not saved yet. Just go to the file menu, then save. Select a folder where you want to save the PDF file. And you can either overwrite the original file by saving it with the same name, or save it as a new file by changing the file name. I'll save this as a new file for now, so we can compare the blank form with the filled up and signed form. Let's open the blank form here. Now the form that we signed and filled up. There we go. We can now compare their difference. And that's how easy it is to edit, fill up and digitally sign a PDF file. With this knowledge, you don't need to print the PDF file, sign it personally, then scan the signed form to make it a digital file again and submit. This way, you can just directly sign the PDF file within just a few minutes. And that's it for this one. I hope this helped and makes your future form fill up and signing process a lot easier and productive. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.